We can't believe that a Land Rover show just happened to be taking place right about the time we were finishing up. Hello and welcome to Grizzly and Bear Overland with Lee and Steffi. Previously, we've completed the rebuild of our Land Rover Defender and four-wheel camper after almost seven months of work. <laughs> May I have the honor of emptying the garage? Of course you can! <laughs> Uh, we've got two. Look at that. Our new and improved. Look at that. With with one finger? Oh my god. Anyone that's followed us for some time will know the saga, the rear draw saga that we have had over the years with our horrible rear drawer. Now we have a drawer on runners that actually slides in and out. Incredible. And it's rubberized, yeah. So look at that. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. How good is that? <laughs> oh, that is sweet. And that works, so we've got a working... And the next one you'll automate it so yeah. you can push a button. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's it. We're working on that one. No, it's very ah. nice. Like these little welds. Yeah. It turns this panel into you know, something you just want to touch the whole time. A while back, we've ordered a new awning from Europe. And we received it only one day before departure. It is the same model, but a bit smaller and half the weight. The delivery logistic was very problematic. So thank you, Axel and Tiago, for your help. The new awning was installed at the very last minute. Look at the no zero sag. Yeah, no legs on this one. The Land Rover show is happening starting tomorrow, I should say. Steffi has already gone. She's gone back in the rental car back to our apartment that we've been staying in for these past, I've lost track, four or five months now. She's packing, she's getting ready. Um, I've been here with the guys just doing some final little touches, finishing off. Now they're just giving a bit of a wash down, a little bit of a water test on the side boxes. I'll go back, pick up Steffi. I'm packing up the camper, ready for the weekend. Fill up with food and the fridge is full and I'm putting some clothes back inside the cabin. Feels so good to be back here. I'm looking straight at Table Mountain. First road trip in our new Grizzly and there we are on our way to the Outdoor and uh, Overland Expo in Elgin. Elgin, I'm Elgin. not too sure. 70 kilometers and this is uh, like a test. Ah, this will be good for the show. <laughs> <laughs> the springbok one. Oh, no, because I'm not from South Africa. This oh. I got this one because I love the country. No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. There is no hiding the fact that we are tourists now. <laughs> we got mobbed at the traffic line. <laughs> On the way, we've decided to stop at Bonstein Motors to see our friends <laughs> and to show them the new Grizzly and Bear. That's just How are you, mate? This is super. <laughs> Good. We literally put the camper on for the very first time last night. We were still paranoid that yesterday everyone was a little bit on edge. Nice view. We're gonna have a two minute noodles for dinner tonight. We're gonna have a quiet night ready for tomorrow. But it feels amazing to be in our home, a new home that we've changed a little bit. We changed the cushion and we've made the entrance a bit bigger. And I think that's really good. Cold. <laughs> good to be home. <laughs> Thank you, Steffi. 
Very, very good. I'm sorry to say. Oh no! What's your name, sorry? Bruce! <laughs> <laughs> Where in Aussie are you from? I'm from Perth. We were still putting stuff on it yesterday morning. Spare tyre in a yeah. reasonable place, not on the roof of the car. I'm driving the same side as you guys, eh? <laughs> Laura, nice to meet you, Laura. And Nick. Nicholas. Nick, How's very nice to meet you. How's good, it? Man. I'm very good. Some proper marmite. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> and what are the chances? Because my Vegemite literally He's just ran out. out this morning. Excellent. <laughs> there we go. The other one is some Mapani worms. Mapani worms. Yeah, Thank you like very this. much. <laughs> Receives them and it turns around and says, Oh, not bad. Check the protein content. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first time we had them, we were actually in Zimbabwe on the Zambezi River. Yes. And it's a basic staple yeah. during hard times. What you guys try. would be up to it. <laughs> it's got to be better than horse milk. It smells a little bit like seaweed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have a look at this. All right. Three, two, one. Crunchy. Crunchy. <laughs> it's tasty. Yeah, just a little bit like seaweed. <laughs> I like it. I definitely nice. need a beer with this. Yeah, yeah, I think I need a... <laughs> is, it, is it too early? <laughs> That's actually pretty good. It reminds me of something, but I can't pick it. Mm. Mm. Oh, not bad. Not new, new hiking snack. No, 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 not no, quite no. as good as Biltong, mm. maybe. <laughs> On the Friday morning, we had a quick walk around the expo, just before it got too busy. We would like to thank Andre for organizing this event and for inviting us. Grutzessel Braillema is the company name, but I am Grutzessel. And that little dog there is my manager. His name is Rambo making knives and blades. I actually call it a blade because with a blade you cut, with a knife you step. I'm sure you learn to eat biltong, yeah? Oh, absolutely, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. It's a little biltong. Oh, it's a biltong knife. No? That's cool. And a bottle opener. Yeah, and there's a screwdriver, screwdriver as well. The very nice, very nice. Handmade by a guy down in Tasmania. Not that blunt, but it's not sharp. I'm using this one for over 30 years already. Okay. Oh, wow. And uh, you just pull your knife through it. Don't press too hard. Just go slightly. Now I go to the ceramic, a couple okay. of shots. Then you go now on a leather and I just put some rubbing compound on it. Okay. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thanks. Bye. See how it is now. Wow. Good. There's your knife. Thank you. You're welcome. So I said, there's so many biltong slices, I want to make a slicer that you can use for vegetables, meat, anything. And this is what you got here, it's got a long edge, very sharp. But now, if you don't want to use it, you just undo it here, push it out, you take your blade out, yep. and you push this to the middle, you take, just slip it out, ah, there you go. and then you got, you got your cleaver wow. for cutting up, picking up. <laughs> Help yourself. <laughs> so, what you say? You want to say, you know, so I feed you. Let's get some bread to feed the staffing. Huan Yin Pai Zhao. Wei Shi. You know, to welcome to you, know, take photos. Yes. And it says, you know, please, you know, feed us. Oh, 
spoke like Max. Yeah, Last programs when I saw, uh -huh. only the mudguard area over the wheel. Yeah, yeah. And then you were saying, this is going to happen now. Yeah, yeah. Look at it, eh? Fantastic. How's it? It's a big moment. Oh, It's our good friend, Alan. I'm from Italy. I'm Roberto. I travel in the world with the Defender TD5 roads on the way. 20 years and they have only this car. 1.4 million with the same engine. Sometimes I try to, to, to think about how many liters and much more how many euros of diesel <laughs> they put ah, inside. Don't, don't think about ah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you turn off the camera, I can tell you one thing. <laughs> For a long time, I used oil. Yeah. I used oil, uh, half oil, half diesel. Newman 4x4 in France, where we built the car six years ago. Oh, this is amazing. Fantastic, oh, absolutely fantastic. Very big, I mean, look at this place. That's my, my pride and joy, this. My name is Johan. Um, I'm originally from Johannesburg, but I live in Cape Town now. And the nice thing about this part of the world is it is the gateway to Africa for some people in South Africa. It's one of the nicest places to be. South Africa is not as bad as people think it is. 99% of the time, it's a brilliant place to be. Do what uh, Steffi and Nia have done, come and join us. Thank you for coming. Oh, look at you, hello. You're doing a good job. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Oh. <laughs> I was making my way across town, trying to get The build came out really awesome. I'm so impressed seeing it in, in real life. Great. And Steffi, the amount of work you put in, amazing. Thank you, yes. I watched the last episode yesterday and I watched them bringing all the Raptor stuff in. It looked really cool. Is yours also Raptor? No, that's Paracota. It's a really good idea that you've done this and taken off the, the older like caravan style covering and it's just brought the, the two together which is really cool. Which is the best for buffer? The one that you have. Yeah man. Thanks for coming. I think it's amazing. I love all these compartments, all the hidden places and spaces. He's always showing us videos and stuff of the work. Extremely proud. Hello. Hello. How are you both? Good, and you? Okay. Imagine living in this. It's there, people. <laughs> Every day. Look at that. Oh, that's just love. Steffi, oh, Steffi can do it with okay. one finger. That's so, the okay. jack, so they bolt so onto the corners. We disconnect all the ratchet straps, disconnect one electrical plug, jack it up. I've got a cordless drill that goes on the end. I'm worried about meeting Chris <laughs> Steffi! It's been an incredible process. <laughs> this build looks amazing. Wow. We actually watched it online and it's it's crazy to see how it's come together and yo, it looks absolutely like professional, like top notch. Been here for five months and no sticker yet. What's going on? <laughs> a Frenchie lives here, there's a croissant here. So it's both. Awesome stuff. One, two, three. Victory We built awesome stuff. Nice to meet you. I've been watching your videos uh, for the past like five years. Mate, I'd be absolutely honoured to uh, give you this little uh, little piece of our, of our, it's a piece of our heart, it's a piece of our car. This thing's been around the world to 37 countries with us. Thank you. It means a lot. It's been a big day. We had an incredible day thank you to everybody that came to say hello but like amateurs we stood around in the sun all day long like we've never lived outdoors before and we are both 
so burnt. We forgot to bring hats. My feet, my legs, I, I'm roasted. And we've got one day of it tomorrow. I need to go for a walk and try to find a, a hat for sale somewhere. <laughs> I'm filming now. I filming. <laughs> Finally, we get to meet Grizzly and Bear, and of all the places, it is in South Africa where we are now. And to tell you guys the truth, when we saw their YouTube in Mongolia, that really inspired us to do the overlanding as well. We covered five countries in South Africa, so probably another nine to go. My car is unfortunately it's not a Land Rover. But it's a Land Cruiser Troopy. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I'm Nana. Together, travel only two ladies with Ira. YouTubers! My name's Alexander Bass. My mom and dad have opened a workshop called Alarm Mad. I like Grizzly and Bear because they travel all around the world. Next, they have to go to the West Coast to come see our workshop. Thank you. But yeah, Botswana is up on the list. We are the sunny side. I'm Phil, and uh, yeah, we're traveling now South Africa and Namibia and the southern parts, and try to get our way up to back to Germany. The car is a 110 2003 Defender with uh, pop-up conversion, two adults and one little child with two and a half, and we shipped down to Cape Town, and now we're going up. We are selling cozy lights for camping and outdoor. Check out the website, it's the sunny side. All called the sunny side. Thanks. We would like to say congratulations to Andre and Adri for their wedding and thank you for inviting us. Good to nice see you, to see you guys. Hi. Hi. Very good. Yeah, we have a good team. Yes, we have a good team. Well done. Yeah. Things were going well here. Yeah. I've been pumping. I'm burnt. I'm oh, exhausted. Yeah. I'm, I forgot. A, I forgot a hat. So luckily, these guys gave us a hat today. Very consistent. People wanting to come check this out. We're making space. How much space do you need? Oh, yeah, I better not make too much space. <laughs> <laughs> have to be careful. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Thank you so much. A massive thank you to all of you guys who came to the show to see Grizzly and Bear and to see us. We cannot thank Victitech and Ponstein enough for making our dream come true. A huge thank you to our Patreons and all our community here on YouTube. We love you all. Until next time, take care. Bye bye.